anyway, look, let's 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 go to something a little more soothing, if you don't mind, okay? So is this it? This is the background now. Yeah, Trump's gone, but our problems aren't. She just settled on this background. This is her. This isn't her YouTube show. No, this I is her Little Late with Lily. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's the show. This is the show oh, now. No, 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 no. We've been watching her show. This isn't a YouTube video. So she has an NBC YouTube show. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. He's no longer the president of the United States. Donald Trump is no longer the president of the United States. So at moments like this, I wish I had a live audience because I know that that would have gotten the biggest applause that I'll ever get. Now, and, then even if it, and then even if it didn't, we would just use applauses from another episode we film. Yeah, but you know what the other thing... <laughs> the, the, but I see, see, Lily, you could call me Pe Pepperidge Farm because I remember. I remember when this show started, your first season, you made it very clear that you said... Our show's not going to be political. Remember that? We talked about it on the show. Mm -hmm. We just want to make people laugh, y'all. Our show's not going to be political. We're not going to take shots at any political side. We're just going to have fun. What happened is, is you realize your show sucked anyway, and now you're trying to see if your second season, if you jump on the political bandwagon, if that'll get people to watch you. I mean, they're still not because you're inherently not funny. But that what happened to that whole, we're, we're, this isn't a political show. We're just going to have fun. Oh, that's over now, isn't it, Lily? I wish I had a live audience because I know that that would have gotten the biggest applause that I'll ever get. Now, okay, hold on. Let me address something. I know once upon a time I said, you know, on my show, I'm not going to be political. But when I said... What did I just say? What did I just say? But, what did I just say? But... I said, you know, on my show, I'm not going to be political. But when I said that, I meant like I'm not going to address the minutia of like the latest pork barrel spending legislation. Obviously, I don't know what that is. One of my writers wrote it because I'm just like, why would you be spending money on pork barrels? But That's what, but, not my forte. Wait, so I you don't... St wait a minute. So you started off by saying, I'm not going to do a thing that nobody would ever think you would have done on a late night comedy show anyway. Like, hey... There's one thing we're not going to do on this late night talk show is discuss each and every bill going through Congress on every day. No, when you said, I'm not going to get all political, you were like, no, we're going to have a fun time. Yeah, here. that's like, not how you said, You failed it. at the comedy, and now you're like, well, now we got to find a, a way to get back to the political stuff, but also find a way where I'm not a liar, but you're a liar. That's Just not, that's not, no, 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 no. Just say you're a liar. We've watched this since the very inception on this show. We watched it, we're day one. We, that is not how you meant it. That's not how you said it. You fucking lied. You're lying now, and you're realizing that, man, all these are the people making fun of Trump, and that seems to work for them. You'd be spending money on pork rails. That's not my forte. I don't know. But I feel like these things are not really political things, right? They're literally the most... You're talking about a president. That's literally the most political thing you could do. I love to see her mental gymnastics. They're kind of more like human things, and they're too big to ignore. Like inauguration. I feel like now that Trump is the gone, it's a great day for all of us. You know, human guys, you know, human things. Little things that make us human, like the presidential inauguration. <laughs> Not politics. What? Home? And they're too big to ignore. Like inauguration. I feel like now that Trump is gone, it's a bright day for all of us. You feel me? <laughs> Not if you're somebody that pays taxes. Seriously. Fucking not if you're somebody that pays taxes or works in the in the fucking oil industry. Especially you, Oval Office Chair. You made it, little guy. With all the negatives the president did, I do want to highlight the one positive thing Donald Trump did. There was one step forward for equality, and that is that white people are now finally referred to as terrorists. It finally? finally referred to as terrorists she wasn't gonna be political remember she wasn't gonna be political but wait a minute what about uh timothy mcveigh what about the ira what about the ted kaczynski uh, uh well ted kaczynski um the what is it the christian identity movement mm -hmm. uh the, what about all that stuff lily i mean white people have been called terrorists White people kind of invented terrorism. <laughs> like, white people were technically the first people to ever go, like, you know, we could just... And then park the car, and then we don't have to die. <laughs> we could just go get a really unassuming-looking old Mercury Grand Marquis and load that thing with... The or an RV. Like, white people do have a tendency. Like, since when have white people never been considered terrorists? I finally referred to as terrorists. It took four long, painful years, but he did it. Now, I know a lot of people... Yeah, Trump te Trump saving... Uh, listen, I, I, again, not happy with Trump. But Trump not starting a new war. Trump making sure that a, pulling 
18 and 19 year olds out of the Middle East so they don't get their arms and legs blown off. The right to try acts or people that have cancer could try. None of those were good things. The only good thing for you is that white people were hurt. Hey, Lily, you know most of the people that watch your YouTube videos are white girls, right? You know that? People are going to say, stop talking about Trump. And people just don't want to hear about it anymore. And I get it. Having said that, I do Having said that, I don't care what people think or what they want or what they want to see on TV. I'm going to do what I want and fail at it. Well, if they did, her ratings oh, would have been better than Carson Daly's. Good. I think it's important to acknowledge that just because Trump is gone, it doesn't mean all of our old problems are also gone. We still have a lot of healing to do. We have a lot of work to do, and I do think that's important to talk about. And first the first all, step to healing is by calling all white people terrorists and, and saying they look yeah. like child molesters. That, that's a great <laughs> way to heal. That's a <laughs> great way to heal. heal. That's how you heal. It's time to heal, you that's fucking you heal. pieces of shit. That's exactly, that's exactly what she's doing. Deal with racism, right? A lot of people like to point out that Trump is the symbol for racism. And yeah, sure, he encouraged white supremacists. But in terms of a symbol for racism, let's not forget about- He encouraged white supremacists by giving more money to Israel and moving the fucking, and moving the embassy to Jerusalem. Yeah, you're right. It's like you just- The platinum plan. The platinum plan was him encouraging white supremacists. Shut up. You guys are basically like Ted Bundy pulling some poor girl into yeah. a van them and then shooting them and then while they're laying there dead go look it's it's time for us to heal okay it's time for us to heal and move on and maybe you take some time to think about why you're dressed that way but it's time for us to move on and heal we can't just sit here and dwell on this in a van and this subsequent murder <laughs> like you guys are fucking literally the the aggressors and then you're like, yeah, but seriously, I think it's time that we all stop being so aggressive. Action Jackson has a good point. Maybe she, maybe she meant heel like H E E L. Maybe it's time to be the heel. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was it again? The plantations? Because can we just be real? Can we, we just be real? I don't know what a plantation is, y'all. Like I speak like a black person, even though I'm from Toronto and I'm Indian dog. Yeah, what a homie. And I've been trying to tone down my black voice, but when I get excited, sometimes I still can't. I mean, dog, look at my first season of the videos, homie. What up, dog? What you're doing, Lily Singh, is a million times more insulting than anything you're going against. You're putting on a minstrel show. You're putting on a minstrel show, and you're not even black. I feel like she probably has to be aware of a lot of this stuff, and she's got to be just living in a fucking... Uh, one thing I look forward to, by the way, is watching Lily sing age poorly. And she's oh, yeah. going to because all of this shit is eating her up inside. The, the fact that she still doesn't even know what she is... And the fact that she's willing to be whatever it is that will get her more people to watch. Like, she's, she is definitely living in a self-created fucking hell world. And it's going to be fun watching her spiral. Because she is going to spiral. This woman's going to fall apart. And it's going to be fantastic. Racism's been here, okay? And to quote the freshest of Princess Will Smith, he says, Racism isn't getting worse. It's just getting filmed. But hey, at least... Well, no, he also said, Ha ha, my wife made a cuck out of me. Yeah. It's true. Now everyone knows you know what else Will Smith said? He says, you better fire that bitch that plays my aunt in the show where I'm not fucking coming back here again. And then you made it so no... Will Smith <coughs> also made it so nobody would work with this lady. And she was actually a, a professionally trained actress. He made it so nobody would work with, with this lady at all. He completely scorched her career. That, but that, but he, made, he made getting jiggy with it. That is true. Na, 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 but na, na, na. when you do read the stories, that woman was mm. a fucking though yeah. she really was so like slowly. okay what he did was wrong like he took it to a level it didn't need to go but by all accounts that woman was a fucking and we can start working on anti-racist principles and that includes having a lot of really tough conversations you know with your mom your dad your aunt your uncle listen if i yeah have... ruin your family relationships hey little girls and little girls and boys that watch lily sing on the youtubes ruin all of your family relationships because some fucking dumb from Toronto just told you to. That makes sense. About sex in front of millions of people, including my Indian parents, and I just got goosebumps right now, then you can turn off Fox News and say, hmm, maybe I should get my first black friend, or Latina friend, or gay friend, or the. That's right. You guys don't know any black people. That's yeah, your people problem. that watch Fox News don't have black friends, apparently. I'm unaware of this. Did well, you know that? that? What happened to all the black and Hispanic people you called white supremacists? I'm Cuban. You called you called me a white supremacist. I'm a white supremacist, and I'm Cuban. 
I mean, you, you said you said I was. A friend that says I'm just gonna carry a reusable tote bag just in case. That's the kind. I of have a black friend. You guys actually Another called him an Uncle Tom and doxed him, and I don't get to see him on Twitter yeah, much. Anymore. Yeah, you're right. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. <laughs> The way we gotta heal is we gotta rebuild the trust between a lot of Americans and science and facts, especially the press. Because when I think of scientists, I think of people in lap coats and Lily Singh. Because right now, they're not talking. And we gotta face it, there's gonna be a lot of people who will never accept facts that they disagree with. Just like how I will not accept the nutritional information on the back of a frozen pizza box. The sodium is your opinion. Or, we... F or you will never accept FBI crime stats either. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about people not accepting stats. Yeah. Gotta elect better leaders with better values, which is tough because- No, right you don't want better leaders with better values. You want leaders that pander to you and make you make your fifis feel good. That's what you want. You want people to pay, so you don't want you don't want nobody really wants leadership okay and i'm talking about the left or the right and i think you'll agree with this nobody really wants leadership most people in 2021 want people to pat their head tell them they're good and tell them no 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 you guys are the bad but you guys are doing it right that's what you want you well, want to be pandered honestly to. that's not even that it, it, that's not even it because I, I like that's that wouldn't even be that bad mm -hmm. like being pandered to and just being told you're good wouldn't be toxic enough to be this cancerous on society the problem is is that it's not enough to just be patted on the head and told you're good you need to be told you're good and that all of them are bad yeah and that you're better than them and it's nothing to be there's nothing wrong with being pandered there's nothing wrong with going somewhere where people appreciate you and go you're a good dude that's fine that's harmless but the problem is is it's not enough for us everybody wants to be told you're good, and those people are bad, and those people are the reason why all of the things you don't like are happening. And you can go, yeah, and that's the, the problem is, is everybody wants somebody to blame and feel better than, and it's just fucking ridiculous. Right now, there are literally so many Republicans in the wings waiting to take Donald Trump's position. One of them is literally named Donald Trump. No, don't. So, all the, so what you're saying is you want unity and you want, but all Republicans are bad. All, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to understand here. So you don't want to get political. This whole rant is political. And all Republicans waiting in the wings are bad and evil people. All of them. Every single one of them are bad. And every single Democrat is good. That's how it... We're not judging people based on the individual things that they're doing or stuff like that. We're judging them on what party are you. Great job, Lily. Great job. No. Not to mention all the serious problems we need to deal with that Trump made way worse. Like climate change. Climate change, our actual CO2 emissions are the lowest of any any country in the world right now. Corporate greed, institutional racism. Corporate greed. Corporate greed, which uh, in Silicon Valley is going to get even bigger under Biden because he hired people from these mega corporations like Google and Amazon to be in his cabinet. Yeah, by the way, I work for this little known company called RTC uh, Media. Well, who do you work for, then? Oh, uh, well, NBC, which is owned by who's, Comcast. And, well, it's a joint venture, actually. It's Comcast, and who's the other company, too? Well, it used to be owned by GE. Well, it still is. It's GE. Is, GE and Comcast own a joint venture that owns NBC. So GE, Comcast, NBC Universal. it's like you, you work for these people. I don't. You do. You work for them. Them, unflattering white shorts, all serious issues. Also, can I just point out to wear shorts like that? The irrational confidence. I just could you imagine body shaming a fucking uh, uh, a leftist and how fucking you, you imagine body these shaming Kamala live, Harris? They don't, these people don't live by their own of rules. Of course, they don't live by their own rules. Of course, they don't. She's allowed to body shame people, but if you make fun of Lily Singh, you could call the misogynistic pig. Because she's fucking, she's, Lily Singh is built the way an 80s suit looks. Fever and positives and silver linings. And I believe that now that we see all these problems laid out before us, we can do something about them. They're no longer hidden. And we can speak up and call out hate when we see it. It's all of our jobs. Okay, cool. Can I call out hate? Why do you hate white people no, so much? Kind of hate Why do you hate Republicans so much? Why do you why do you call them all for your your fucking other people on your little peacock network call them child molesters and white supremacists without any facts? Why are they being put on no fly list? Which I mean, I get it because Baked Alaska does kind of look like a child molester, but the, that he was the only one that I saw there that kind of looked like one. The rest of That's them all just looked 
like idiots. <laughs> I'm still working on the second or third, but luckily I have 73 more episodes to figure it out. So stand by. So yeah. 73 more episodes? 73 more? They can't get so, rid of her. So they did 73 They more can't episodes? get rid of her. They're, they're, she's, they're stuck with her for the same reason. This is why back in the day people didn't like hiring in my because you get fucking stuck with them when they want to cry about racism or misogyny. And you can never fire them. They're unfireable. We have a lot to do. But yo, one giant orange roadblock is out of the way. So good. Yeah, win. dog. I ain't gonna talk about politics, dog. Except my ratings are down, homie. You hear me? Skirt, skirt. So now I'm gonna be fucking talking about politics, dude. Fucking shut up, you disingenuous, stupid. No one gives a shit about you. You don't want to fucking talk about hate. You just want to fucking talk about the things that you... You don't even believe... You're right. Didn't even believe in half the shit that you're saying anyway. You're just pandering to your fucking YouTube audiences. That's all you're doing. Ugh. Fucking disgusting.